Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is going to be a general reading for the collective, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Energies for your person, the Star and the Nine of Swords. Between you and your person, we have the Eight Priestess. Meeting energies, the Tower, the Ten of Wands and the Justice. The Oracle cards, Chop Wood and Between Words, which seems to be meaningful as a transition, guys, because... There can be silence between you and this person, but they can try to reconnect with you somehow, some way, because they want to do things better with you, they want to make things right. But the situation seems to be beyond repair, so you can resist this person, Seven of Wands, because you can fear that there can be a Knight of Wands type of situation still at play between the two of you. The tower has already fallen apart, basically, when it comes to this connection, but this person is still holding on to you, Ten of Wands. They can still think that you are a wish granted for them, the star. The Nine of Swords can describe two things, either a meaningful level of anxiety because this person is regretful because of what they did against the connection with you, or a level of anxiety that can be about the fact that this person would love to be with you once again, but they will not get that opportunity, guys. Chop wood, carry water. It's about the small things, you know, the ones that can truly make the difference in the journey. Because if we cannot handle the small things, we have no chance to handle the big ones. And some of you may not like the mindset of this person. This is the point. So, the connection is not over yet, even if the two of you broke up, but there is going to be one final conversation if we follow the Ace of Swords and the Justice. This person will reach out and they will ask you guys to try again. Chariot for the Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands for the Seven of Wands, Five of Cups for the Star, Ooh, the Devil for the Nine of Swords, the Fool for the Tower, the Hanged Man for the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Swords for the Justice. I love the fact that the Queen of Swords can resonate with the Justice Lady, for me at least. There is going to be a conversation, yes, but the situation is going away, between words. Some of you are not going to look back when it comes to this connection. So, this person is regretful, Five of Cups potential betrayals, distractions, interferences at play in the situation if we follow the Three of Cups influence. This person can be obsessed with you guys, the devil. They can say that they miss you and the two of you should get back together. Mm, I do not think that this can be a wise move. The mind of this person is not on point. The devil is an energy about excesses. If we think about the nine of swords, this person is a mess. They may not be a positive figure in your life. That's why, if you think about success, the chariot, you may want to move as far as possible from this person who can be the knight of wands in your mind. Someone that cannot be trusted. Someone that is not serious. Someone that can be inconsistent. So, because you can see the connection as a source of overwhelming emotions, the Ten of Wands, you can resist the avances that this person can bring to you. The two of you see the connection from two different points of view, the Hanged Man. From your perspective, this is a stuck situation. A leap of faith together with this person would be a foolish mistake. Instead, you have to hit the road in order to move in a different direction. And this can be the outcome, the verdict, the feedback that you can offer to this person in order to let them know that you are not interested in a second chance, basically, in a reconciliation, a reunion. What should you focus on? Ooh, almost a jumper. Here we go. Page of Cups, an apology, you may very well receive it. I do not think that it can be enough. The Star, so recurrent energy, 
this person is going to say that you are the absolute dream for them well wonderful why didn't the connection work the first time were you not the absolute dream back then what do they have to say about that you can point that out but at the same time you are not really interested in the chance to hear what this person may have to explain to you because if you do not believe them their explanations are pointless six of wands the warrior coming back from the battle victorious there is no victory for you in this connection guys nine of wands the wounded warrior i think that the energy can describe the disappointments that you have experienced because of how this person acted towards you and then be careful with the potential approach of this person that can play the victim because of the devil influence which can be a manipulative energy so they can play the victim in order to get to you almost out of pity you know they want to hook you out of pity because then maybe you can give them another chance i do not think so what's the obstacle Here we go. Ooh, the devil again, guys. The obsession of this person, the inability of this person to bring balance to a connection. There can be some addiction also involved. Well, maybe one about sex. And then something else, guys. Something that this person can be regretful of. Something that can bring them to fall for the nine of swords oh my goodness what did i do i did it again how is this possible well it's possible because they cannot handle the cycle two of pentacles stuck guys this connection is not positive this person can try to hold you hostage of a cycle that for you can be a major source of issues problems Three of Cups, we know the drill, guys. It can be an energy about distractions, third party interferences, betrayals because of the devil. In the obstacle, I want to say that a reunion, a celebration is not available because the connection is not balanced, guys. There is no justice, metaphorically speaking, in the situation. You have to bring it. But the opportunity for you to bring justice to the situation can also ask you guys to move forward the chariot without this person. So you have to resist the temptation that somehow, some way, they can try to be for you. They want to be a temptation for you. Let's ask for guidance about the situation. All right, these cards, let's see. Ooh, the moon. If we are in a situation influenced by the moon or an energy level, we cannot see the stars. So this person can try to do a number on you because they can hope that you will give in to the connection. You will fall at their feet. You have to stand up for yourself like the man in the seven ones you have to speak up for yourself queen of swords accepting no bs and guys in this connection there can be a ton of bs king of pentacles energy about stability this can describe your mindset guys so if you resonate with someone that basically is willing to provide for a romantic connection because there can be strong roots, you know, that comes from the mindset. The mindset of this person can be different from yours. This person can try to rely on you guys. If we think about a committed connection, why should you want a committed connection with this person after what you have gone through with them? Knight of Pentacles, 
another energy that is stable, reliable, grounded. But in the guidance position, guys, the Ace of Pentacles token that can allow two people to build a relationship is kept hidden in the moon energy. There is something that is not quite right. Ten of Pentacles, boy, third energy about a structured relationship and the Eight of Cups. So, guys, I love the energy in the guidance because if you want commitment, real commitment with the capital C, you have to move in a different direction. You have to leave behind this situation, cutting communication, no contact, the Eight Priestess. The Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles cannot be found with this person because of the moon, which is a factor even in the Eight of Cups. There is something that is not quite right, not quite clear. And so guys, I am encouraged by the energies, to be honest with you, because we are approaching the end of a cycle. This connection is going to be released. Some of you have already learned the hard way by sharing some time with this person along the connection. It's enough. You have seen enough. And that's why in the final conversation that you will have the opportunity to share with this person, you will have a voice, a powerful one. That voice should count in your favor so that you can power through the transition between words, tower energy that we got, embrace the full energy, yes, but in order to move in a different direction so that you can honor the guidance that comes from the Eight of Cups. This is an unfulfilling situation, guys. This person can say that you are a wish granted for them, but they are not or they cannot be a wish granted for you. And this is something that deserves your attention. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.